Hey everybody, what is up, Wage Up here, and I wanted to cover a brand new Discord feature that is really, really cool, um, and that replaces the old playing dialogue. So, one of the things that you may remember uh, as a feature that exists in Discord is you'll see, for example, it'll say that somebody's playing whatever game. I'm playing a game that I've titled a game. Um, you could set that text to basically whatever you want uh, using the game's dialogue. I think I made a video on that a while ago, although the location of it is slightly different. Anyways, what I wanted to go ahead and show you though is there's a brand new feature that replaces it. And what you'll notice as I'm going through people here is that they have something that doesn't say playing or streaming, but just text. So NL here has something that says, ye shall be as gods, and they have a Jesus emote. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Um, and all these people have different status messages, things that are very important, like telling people to play Xenoblade. And so obviously you probably want to set these own things for yourself because it's really cool to see a custom message that you can set on the right side of the screen. So how do you do that? Well, the first step is to make sure that your Discord is updated, and this is the case both for mobile and for desktop Discord. So on desktop Discord, in the top right, you may see a download icon, and that'll tell you if you need to update it. If you want to go ahead and make sure that it's updated and you don't end up seeing what I'm going to show you in a minute, you could always restart your computer or fully close Discord using the little arrow menu that'll show up in the bottom right of your taskbar if you're on Windows, or right-click and force quit it on macOS. Anyways, very important to make sure that your Discord is updated. If you're on mobile, for example, if you're on iOS, you're going to go to the App Store and go to the Update section and swipe down and make sure that everything is updated. And of course, it's going to be similar for Android on the Play Store. Now, I'm going to give you a slight warning right now, which is that Discord tends to be a little bit weird with its updates sometimes, and sometimes they'll rename things and move them around. Let me show you how to set this thing. So currently, it says that I am playing a game. If I find myself over here, I am playing a game. So let's replace that with something else. I'm going to click on my profile name and click Set a Custom Status. And that's actually all it takes. So I could choose an emote. Um, you could only put one emote here, but I could choose an emote. Let me say I choose this from Dragalia Lost. Boom. I could have my message say subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, if you want more Discord content, just saying I do have some. And, you know, I could have it clear after 30 minutes. By the way, if you do want to subscribe to the channel, I do have other videos on things like how to custom format text in Discord, bold, underline, italic, strike through, all this other stuff that I highly recommend checking out. Anyways, saying custom status is super easy. You'll notice it'll show up right there and it replaces the playing dialogue. Um, what's interesting is if I were to go to the game activity section, it still shows that I'm playing a game here, but it doesn't show up. Um, it's sort of overwritten by the other thing. So do keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you really quick how to do this on mobile. So if I go ahead and minimize Discord here, here I have my phone up and running. Um, and what I can go and do is I can swipe left and I could tap on my name. What you'll notice here is I already see my status update at the bottom saying subscribe to the channel. Now I could tap on it to edit it, or I could just press X to remove it entirely. So then I could go set a custom status. For whatever reason, my emotes keyboard is not showing up on mobile properly. But I'll go ahead and type in something in the custom status bar. By the way, if mine works a little bit differently than yours, I am on the beta version of Discord on my phone, which could cause some slight differences, but I'll say this is a video that I'm recording. <laughs> These are really terrible examples, I'm sorry. Um, but they work. Um, and what I could do, for example, I could have it clear tomorrow or just never clear. So clearing, of course, basically means if you leave it alone for that amount of time, it'll just disappear. Um, so if I were to clear in 30 minutes, then 30 minutes from now, I guess for me, that would be at like 2.25 or so, uh, the message would disappear. But I could set it to don't clear right now. And you'll notice, again, right here, I could see this is a video that I'm recording. Um, I can have other things like people die if they are killed, um, and all these other messages other people can send as a custom thing. Um, so just do keep that in mind. It's a great way to replace the old playing dialogue um, so that you don't have to have that playing text or that streaming text. And do check it out because it's a great feature. And if you'd like any help on how to do something in Discord, you could join my Discord channel and head to something like the send help channel right here. Um, or you could go to my comments section below, although I'm going to be honest, I don't check it as often as I used to. Um, so maybe somebody else will be able to help you there, but I highly recommend joining my Discord server. I, we don't really talk at all anymore, but the link to join is in the description below. So anyways, thanks for watching.